At the Luis Muñiz Air National Guard Base in Puerto Rico, the President and the First Lady have landed there for a personal look at the devastation caused by Hurricane Maria and the attempts at recovery. Of course, the President has taken some heat from uh, the political sphere regarding uh, the nation's response to what's going on in Puerto Rico. He has fired back vociferously saying that you know it's a it's an island it's hard to uh, get supplies there and it's it's hard to get the relief to the people who need it one of the problems is that so many of the local folks who were afflicted by the hurricane simply aren't there to do the jobs Melissa and the yeah. truck drivers the bulldozer operators the heavy equipment operators they have needs of their own, trying to help their own families and their own households. I certainly know a lot of people who have relatives there and have been trying to help them. And the biggest barrier, of course, is the fact that this is an island. You know, I mean, when something happened in Houston or in Florida, people in neighboring states could drive in and help. Even we saw it down in the Keys when that first caravan poured in and they came across the highway and they were coming all the way from California. With Puerto Rico, you know, they need to fly in, they need to boat in, and, you know, we can have lots of supplies here that we want to send to them for help, but they need a way to get there. There are organizations of, of private pilots, you know, those who fly uh, light aircraft, even business jets, yeah. organizations that have, you know, stand at the ready to, you know, put tons and tons of supplies on board aircraft and fly them into the islands, but the, the situation on Puerto Rico has been so devastated that many of the airports simply aren't even open yet. They, they don't have power for the control towers and so forth. So uh, some of those relief efforts that might normally take place, even from individual citizens reaching out to other Port Puerto Ricans, uh, those things are not able to happen just yet. Yeah, and our own reporter on the ground, of course, Geraldo Rivera there, and he has pointed out from the beginning that there were a lot of essential services that weren't in place even before the storm, and that's a huge problem. When you talk about restoring power to 100% of the island, and there we see the president stepping off and shaking hands as he gets his feet on the ground. Um, people on the island have been very looking forward to this visit and were, in fact, concerned um, on top of everything else with this horrific tragedy that happened in Las Vegas, that they would not get the president to visit, um, feeling like if he sees the challenges firsthand and brings the attention, he does have a way of cutting through the red tape and speeding up relief, so they very much wanted him to come. You notice there's a bit of a checkerboard quality to this shot at times. This is not even a, a traditional uh, satellite beamed live shot, and, and again, that's a, a reflection of the fact that there is not a great deal of power on the island. This is uh, sort of a, a very basic television lash-up that is beaming these pictures back live from Puerto Rico as President Trump and the First Lady Melania uh, visit uh, with uh, the governor of Puerto Rico and other dignitaries who are there to meet him and, and show him just how bad things are. And things are bad. He has acknowledged that. It was a uh, ferocious hurricane. Um, but they are looking for more help in Puerto Rico, and perhaps the president's visit is going to get that for them. Absolutely. Only 95% of the island, or 95% of the island does not have power right now. Only 5% does. Only 45% of the island right now has drinking water. So this is obviously a huge humanitarian crisis. Beyond that, there is so much rebuilding that needs to go on. And you can't forget, of course, that, you know, this is part of our country. Um, and like any other place that had a disaster, they need federal support. And as you know, being the business uh, reporter that you are, uh, Puerto Rico was in horrific financial oh. shape, I mean, essentially bankrupt, before the storm hit. And now they are faced with a, a catastrophic economic event that has, you know, essentially shut down the island's economy. Tourists aren't going there right now and spending money. Uh, restaurants can't open because they've been obliterated. So. Uh, it is really the worst of all possible times on that island.